Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you a really really cool trick I learned last week while watching one of the Power BI webinars. Uh, this time was held by Chris Webb um, and it is how to avoid refresh errors when importing files with added or removed columns in Power BI. So first of all, I actually want to show you um, the Microsoft guys, they have an initiative that they are running uh, tons of webinars on different topics and one of the topics was an introduction to M, language M, by Chris Webb. Here's Chris Webb. So what M is, is basically the language used to clean data in Power BI. You've seen me doing this a lot of times when we go into Power BI and click on the advanced editor, this is M. So Chris Webb is an expert in anything that has to do with data analysis, but uh, in M uh, definitely. And I would recommend you to actually uh, watch the webinar. I have a link to the webinar on the video. So check it out. It has tons of useful tricks, not only the one I'm going to show you. So make sure that uh, you watch it. But if we go back to what I wanted to show you today, um, it is very, very common scenario where you get an Excel file with data. In this case, is uh, a simple Excel file with the category, subcategory, date, and sales. And uh, you import this in Power BI, the normal way that we normally use it. And uh, everything works very, very well until somebody updates that file or sends you a new file with removed or added columns and then things start to go weird for example if we import a file that has a missing column and let me show you that one doesn't have the category uh, field so if we import that this is what we get i've get that tons of times for, for different reasons and uh, there is actually a way to prevent this from happening if you're certain of which columns you want to have and uh, this is what he shows on, on the webinar I'm going to show you how to do it so what you need to do is you need to go to the actual code let's go to back to the file that works import that so, and we click on advanced editor and what we're going to do here is we're going to create an empty table. So we call it empty and then we write table brackets. And here we write the name of the columns we want to keep. So it's category, subcategory, date, and sales brackets. And now we're going to, table will be empty. So we're not going to have any data on the columns. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to merge the empty table with the table that the Excel file provides us. And to do that, combine, we do a table combine. I mean, this space just helps read table combine. And then we're going to call in the table from Excel, which is that one. 
So combine that with the empty table. And this is really, really clever. We need to have the brackets there and there. And then we need to have a comma. And hopefully this is okay. I haven't missed anything. Seems to be okay. So, so this is what it's actually done. So you import a file. This is Excel. You promote the headers. This is again our Excel file. You create an empty table, and then you combine these two. So what it does is that if a column disappears, the empty table will always provide you the missing column, but it will do it empty. Okay, so let's test this. I have an Excel file that has, um, sorry, it's not. So I have the Excel file that does not have, if you remember, the category column. So we're going to import that and see what happens. So we go to source, we change that to the missing column file. And then, sorry, you have to remove um, the thing, the reason why this doesn't work is because category was type, but when you do the combine, it makes it um, everything number. So you have to change that to the right type. So once you do that, it will work as a charm. You'll show you this is a number and this is text. So just to show that, demonstrate that it works, I will go back to my original file that has all the columns. So everything works. And now I go to the file that has one missing column, which is that one. And voila. So what happens? Because we don't have a category column. It just shows empty, but this is much better than it actually breaks everything. For example, if you have relationships uh, between tables, it will break the relationships and it will do all kinds of nasty things. In this case, everything will be preserved, but you will get empty data and then you will realize, okay, th there is something missing on the source file. You can go and fix that, but you don't have to worry about the model or the relationships or anything else. So this is like really, really, really useful. Um, now, how do we fix when we add the columns? This is not a big problem actually to, to get files with other columns. It could be that it's distracting for the end users if you're creating reports for somebody else that they're wondering what, what is that. And also it just takes space in the model. So it will make everything slower. Now, if you have a small file like this, it just makes no difference. But if you have bigger models, then it's recommended to have uh, as few columns as possible. So uh, there are different reasons why it's good to keep uh, the data that you actually need and nothing else. Um, so what we want to do is to preserve only the columns that we are going to use for analysis. So what you would do is you place yourself in the step promote headers. Okay, let's go back to our original file. So now we have promoted the headers. Would you do, you need to do that. If you don't do it, it won't work. So what Power BI will do is remember the header names. So that's why you have to do it that, this way. So you select all the columns and then remove other columns and you add that. So that means that if any other column shows up, take it away. We don't want to see it. So let's look at our file. It has a new column in the beginning, 
a new column in the end and a new column in the middle. I want to show you that this really actually works, no matter what. So we're going to import this file now. So it is called additional column. Okay. And then if you see on the first steps, it does read all the columns. It promotes the headers and then it says, whoops, you're not supposed to be here. And it removes them. And now everything is working again. This is a really, really, really cool trick. I really recommend you to watch the webinar. It's absolutely excellent. And buy his book. It is also brilliant. So I really hope you enjoy this uh, small but extremely useful trick. Uh, if you like the video, that's useful. Like or comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, I publish uh, around a video a week. And I really hope you have a really nice evening. Bye.